Connor McQueen is with us. His guest of choice this week is. Uh, before we introduce your guest, we got to say six and zero. Oh. That's, that's that's that's. Let's get your take on that before we bring in our man who's joining you today. Yeah, uh, it's exciting that uh, you know we're halfway through the season. You know we're, we're right where we wanted to be, and like uh, like we're talking about, it's it's basically winter go home now. So I mean, it's great to have a bye week right in the middle of the season. So it really gives us a chance to get healthy and really reflect on the first half of the season and look where we need to go going forwards. Do you want to do the honors on your distinguished guest here today? Oh, none other than uh, I said we had to bring in the big guns for the, for the bye week. Big none guns than, on uh, bye week. Coach Noel Mazzoni, the, uh, our uh, my, offense my, coordinator and fearless offensive leader here. My only question is, Connor, I mean, how many people said no before I got asked? I don't okay, think he's gotten huh? a no yet. Uh, he hasn't got a no yet? Lines are starting to yeah, form. I, are yeah, they? Oh, I mean, yeah. they, there's, uh, you know, like Indian leg wrestling matches in the locker room to see who gets, <laughs> who gets on it. Some arm wrestling. <laughs> on. So, uh, my question is, who'd you beat to, to, to get here? I mean, oh, competition's uh, you know. heated. I uh, know. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, uh, you know, he said when he sat down, he got tricked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got let, it. full I disclosure. It, uh, yes, I, yeah, I thought I, this was a phone in. I, I, I wiggled in the uh, the proposition on Monday uh, during yeah. pra- after practice. You know, I wanted to see if he wanted to do a quick little radio interview. I, you know, and I, in my mind, I'm like, well, Connor's got a radio show. It's like a probably like a Wayne's World setup, yeah, a little rinky you know, dink operation down in the here. basement, in the basement of his, uh, <laughs> I'm of his it, house that, that he shares got, with eight other guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, we hadn't had any windows in 12 Man Productions in years, so it is like it could be raining outside. We wouldn't know it. It feels like you're in a basement sometimes. But uh, it, what's your take on the name of his segment, the Red I Zone? I love it. Here? I love the it. The Red you Zone. Know. So yeah. you're in the Red Zone now. Yes, I'm in the Red Zone. I love it in the Red Zone. Welcome to doesn't, my zone, coach. Yes. Doesn't your Twitter <laughs> handle have something to do with zone? End, end zone? End zone. What's yeah. that about? Noel. Well, I know end, the Noel. And Mazzoni. Yeah, it, Didn't you it run camps or something? That was all in there. The end zone yeah, camps or something? Yeah, I do for uh, high school kids. I haven't in, um, you know, in a couple of years, but uh, I got some guys out there that do some. You know, I always, I always think that it's important to give back a little bit. And so um, we spend some time with them in the summer, and they do some summer camps and, you know, some kids' camps, youth camps, things like that, and kind of hopefully teach them a little about football and a little bit, a little bit about life and a little bit about the old end zone offense future counselor right here yeah yes. <laughs> there you go there you go <laughs> well coach i asked connor about this but a 6-0 and start pretty incredible some amazing games within that especially this last one against tennessee but just your take on getting this first half in the books into an off week uh, without a blemish on the record at the moment you know i mean and, and connor can tell you this too is that i really don't even think about that part of Six and zero or whatever the, that is, because we basically live in that one and zero mentality. Mm-hmm. So right now we're just focused on on trying to to get better, get some guys. They got a few nicks. Get healthy this week. Get out and st- go back and work at some base fundamentals and techniques and all those things that you got to kind of finely tune. And then we just move on to the next game. So right now our main concern is how good a Tuesday practice can we have in the bye week. No question. Uh, I always ask. <laughs> Each week, Connor's assessment of Trevor from the previous game. Uh, but your assessment of Trevor through six, is it different from UCLA to Tennessee, the, his progression, what he's looked like? Yeah, I would be interested to get uh, Connor's insight yeah. to this. He can go everybody. first. You yeah. can go yeah. first. Yeah. You can go yeah. first. Yeah. We'll do Connor. Trevor's yes. <laughs> first half of the season assessments, Connor first. Right. <laughs> uh, I think really just from where he was week one to where he was, I mean, this past weekend, it's it's almost night and day in terms of his progression as, as a pocket passer and really feeling comfortable in the pocket to where, I mean, you look at week one, a lot of the tape is he's taking the snap and he's you can kind of tell he's looking at the rush and backing out of the pocket. And uh, now he's sitting in there and delivering good throws. And, and between that and the communication that we've had on the sideline, it's uh, – between the coaching staff and between him and I and him and Jake and then him with the receivers and the offensive line of the running backs, it it seems to make things a whole lot more fluid throughout the game, especially when you get into the second half, third, fourth quarter, and, and in overtime, that communication really becomes paramount, especially whenever you're playing tough SEC teams. Yeah, do we even need Noel's assessment? I know, that's pretty dang he, good. He nailed it, didn't <laughs> he? Yeah, he nailed it pretty good. <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, he's probably – I kind of like this, right? Like UCLA, he's like the freshman walking into the prom dance. Okay, mm-hmm. this last week he's like almost a senior walking into the prom dance. Mm-hmm. He feel looks more comfortable. He's been there before. I agree with Connor, um, and he and Trevor's worked extremely hard on it. Is we obviously 
uh, Trevor, along with Connor, are great, are good athletes. Mm-hmm. Okay, and uh, our main thing is what we want to do is we don't want him to we don't want to be athletes playing the quarterback position. We want to be quarterbacks that are athletic, right. and uh, he's starting to to really feel comfortable. I think with the offense. I mean, we ask these guys to do a lot in this offense. They make they have to make a lot of pre snap decisions. They got to make a a lot of decisions right at the snap and a lot of post-snap decisions. And these decisions happen very quickly. Mm -hmm. And I think he's starting to become very comfortable with all the moving parts of the offense and and, and where he can take advantage of some things of the defense. And Trevor's ability to run. You want to rush the football. You don't make any bones about that. But I think when people think about – teams that run the football it's almost like they look at Arkansas you got to hand it off and go straight up the middle the run game is all over the field and Trevor is instrumental in, in that whole thing oh with, without a doubt I mean he's another guy that the defense has to account for mm-hmm. and a lot of a lot of a lot of times the quarterback isn't accounted for so as you say the uh you know the 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 last eight nine years you know the new word is you know dual threat quarterback mm-hmm. um and I, and that's what that kind of means is this this he's he's becoming a, a true dual threat quarterback and and have the ability to to put pressure on the defense with his legs but also put pressure on the defense by staying in the pocket and making uh good big big throws for us in there mm-hmm. uh, trevor uh excuse me connor mcqueen we're talking about trevor knight with connor mcqueen and noel mazzoni right here on the red zone but uh his touchdown run in overtime uh, against Tennessee, he almost got bullish with that because the guy <laughs> was right there at the one-yard line. It looked like he tumbled over one and pushed another guy into the end zone. But just the whole team's ability to just keep going at it. You know, you had a lead, lost it, miss a field goal to right. win it, go into overtime. Just this team's mentality to just, I guess, mm-hmm. stick with it. Right. the entire time to win what was an incredible And I think game. it's kind of just a, a win-at-all-cost mentality, whether it's if we're going to have to run the ball for 400 yards or throw the ball, for, throw it for 400 yards or whatever we have to do, if we're going to have to break long touchdown runs or have Trevor pull the ball and grind it in from the two-yard line. It's mm-hmm. it's going to – we're going to do whatever it needs – whenever we need to do it to, to get the win and be 1-0 each and every week. And I think that's something that's that's kind of going throughout the entire team. And that, that attitude's really, uh, I mean, especially paid off in both the overtime games that we've played and also, I mean, all the other games we've played and then also going forward as well. And I was asking guys at the end of the game, have you ever been a part of one that long? And I think they thought I was just asking about two overtimes. You guys have been in overtime games. But this thing was four hours and 43 minutes. Did the length of it ever catch up with you and creep into your mind Saturday while you were going through it? Heck yeah! Like I'm, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> did you need you know, a nap at halftime or something? That. I <laughs> took a little nap. Had to get a little insure. Uh, you know the whole thing, so I could make it through the second half. No. I don't think so. I think we're in the in the in the moment and in, in the excitement and all the adrenaline that's pumping. Um, I never really think about that. Kind of no, no. Thing. I mean, it's not something you think about until I mean, really after the game, you look up and like, wow, the lights are on and it's dark outside. Yeah. We started at two oh, yeah. thirty. You know, uh-huh. we've been out here for for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, especially in a game like that, it, your adrenaline's going the entire time. And it doesn't really doesn't really drop. So you, know, it's it's something you look at afterwards and was like, oh, that was probably the longest game we've ever been a part of. But then again, I mean, it was it was a lot of fun to be a part of. Yeah, no question. Four hours, forty three minutes. That's a long time to butt heads with a really good football right. team on the other side of you. <laughs> but uh, the atmosphere late, I know you guys are busy, but th- that was as electric as it gets to me. Uh, did, did you start to feel it late in the game as you're battling through overtime against this team? I think, I mean, from the opening kickoff, you could you could tell that it was that it was a special afternoon in, in Kyle Field and just the the energy and the excitement from the crowd leading up to that week. And, and the, I can't – what was the exact number? It was upwards of 106. 106. I don't that's, know what comes after right. the commas. 106-something. So that's, yeah. that's very, very impressive to pack that many people into the stadium. And, you know, I don't think – I wouldn't even venture to say 100 people left yeah, <laughs> throughout no the doubt. entire game, and, no and especially in the fourth quarter and in overtime, it, it was you, it, you could definitely tell that it was affecting uh, Tennessee. At home, is the atmosphere? I don't want to say it's lost on the offense, but do you maybe not notice it as much because the atmosphere is more for defense when they're on the field? That place is going crazy for you guys. They quiet down a little, but in your job, do you ever 
notice and appreciate these atmospheres you play in in some of these well, venues? I've had a chance to coach at a lot of in a lot of different venues, mm-hmm. a lot of different stadiums, and I can say with without a doubt that as far as the tradition, the crowd, uh, I mean, I mean, Kyle Field's unbelievable, mm-hmm. and I've been in a lot of good stadiums. And, and, and had a chance to coach and play in a lot of them. Um, it's probably one of the one of the great venues in the country, mm-hmm. as far as NFL or college football. Um, f- whether I, you know, I pre, I, I, I surely appreciate it. I know the players, our kids pr- appreciate it. Um, you know, the the support and the fans and the tradition and and as far as the noise, I've got this headset on. Mm-hmm. the entire game and I don't really even hear much of it mm-hmm. you know because you kind of get a little oblivious to what's going on besides um hey what, what the heck am I going to call in third and four mm-hmm. you know so but it's a it was really a it's a special place to be able to coach at and I'm sure Connor it's a special place to run out of that tunnel and play right. at. you only get a few more chances man oh I know you know uh, counting them down do you get the countdown going at all and I haven't even looked to see you know it's don't do it's it. Don't bother it. Oh, no, with that. No. Yeah. That's it. Uh, Trevor and I are <laughs> hey, talking. Hey, play the next play, right? Right. right. Yeah. Let's just be yeah. one and exactly. zero. <laughs> Look, you're looking to be one and zero on the bye week. Do everything yes. right this week. Do everything right yeah. this week. Yeah. We're going to win the bye week. Yeah. Trev- the- yeah. Trevor and I had a, a nostalgic moment for a second there the other day. We were talking. And says, I can't believe how fast the, the season's already going. We've already hit mm-hmm. six games. When you look back and how far away UCLA seemed, and how far oh, week yeah. one seemed mm-hmm. from yep. now, to where it, it, it kind of hits both there. Will uh, Saturday involve football with you guys, or do you prefer to get away from it and move it to the side for a day? Uh, or will you watch teams? I mean, Alabama, Tennessee is a game coming up this oh, Saturday. Will, we, will you check things out, or are you, you going to get away from it for a day or two? I don't think I can spend a Saturday without watching <laughs> without watching football. Whether yeah. it's you know, it'll be nice, you know, watch some other teams grind it out a little bit, knowing that we uh, that we get to relax for a week and and kind of sit back and. You know, watch some other good games play because mm-hmm. a lot of times we're, we're going through game prep and with our meetings and walkthroughs and then pregame and things like that. We don't really get to watch much football on Saturday, so it'll be cool to, to be able to watch a full day of of, uh, of football games this, this upcoming weekend. The, the best thing is I'll get to wake up Saturday morning and not feel like I want to throw up all morning because <laughs> I won't have to be nervous. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, your press conference, you said you got nervous as something a little while back. So. <laughs> If you want to, if you want to go full disclosure on here, this is said this what is tape now? delay. Yeah, <laughs> I said yeah, what? yeah, yeah. We know you get nervous, <laughs> but will you watch the games? And then, I mean, I'm a, junk, any I'm other? a junkie, yeah. so I can't help to. In fact, yeah. in fact, even when the weekends we play, my DVR tapes about I think it holds six, mm-hmm. and I'll tape six games. And, yeah, and then I don't really sleep a lot at night, so I'll get up, wake up at three or four in the morning, and then I'll be watching. West Virginia, Kansas State. Yeah. And, then, uh, and the great thing is, see, I can fast forward through all the commercials there you go. Yeah. There you go. and all the stuff I don't want to see, and I can rewind it. And uh, but and I got a lot of friends out there that are coaching. I, like, I watch their games. So it'll be another 16-hour football day on Saturday. No golf at all? No. No? No, not this time of year. You really golf in the season at all? No. Nah, okay. No. Do you golf it, much? in? I Not during the season. In the offseason, I, uh, I play quite a bit, but – not not in season. There's there's now not Jake's much time. Are, Jake's probably going to be playing golf on Saturday. Jake uh, is actually playing golf. Yes, Thursday, I, I, Friday, Saturday. Thir- yes, Thursday, yeah. Friday. I think Jake's our golfer. Yeah. It, well, what would you say? Maybe he shoots if he got out of traditions. Uh, more, Jake more will shoot, Jake shoots in the seventies pretty consistently. Really? Mm-hmm. Even at a traditions? Mm-hmm. He's yeah. he's a real good golfer. But he could he would never be able to beat me. <laughs> You're not allowed to beat the coach. No, of course beat not. Me, no. And it's just the presence and the aura of, of oh, exactly. him being in, it, of them being He's in intimidated. The, the intimidation and, and, factor. Yeah. In the cart together right? and just, yes. uh, you know, Jake goes up, I'll drive. No, no, no Jake, you yeah. sit yeah. on the side. Yeah. Sit yeah. over there. Yeah. 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 Just go, go along for the ride, be in son. his ear the whole time. Yeah, Jake, Jake will be shanking it all over the place. Right. <laughs> Connor McQueen, Noel Mazzoli. I'll be asking, did that end squeeze or not? Yeah. It's a whiskey check. Read the conflict <laughs> yes. uh, What about best golfer among the coaches? Is, do you get that title? I'm gonna. I don't know. It's a pretty tight. I think Taylor's pretty good. TJ, uh, Chief. Chief's a good. Yeah, golfer? I mean it's a pretty good battle. I mean it's kind of a. It's kind of we're all right in that same that same area. You guys get heated at all when you oh, of golf together? Of course. Why wouldn't we? What about hey, Coach hey. Sumlin? Can he hit it? Uh, yeah, Coach Summit can hit a little bit. I don't have to right. get a chance to play as much with him because, uh, um, you know, he's always running around 
doing other stuff. Yeah, but, he's playing uh, yeah. in all kinds of places. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, you know, good luck with the off week, uh, all this game watching, Thank fellas, because yeah. a, a pretty big one's on the other side of the break. But uh, before you go, Coach. Wait, 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 wait. Do you play golf? I do play golf, yeah. Are you I'm, pretty good? No, I'm terrible, but I enjoy <laughs> the game. All right. I mean, if I could – I go out to traditions, and I'm lucky to get in double digits. I mean, <laughs> put me on a municipal course, I'm a maybe a right. little better, but – right. No, traditions yeah. buries me under. You got you hey, to bring, a you gotta bring, oh, a, you gotta bring just a big old, uh, just a big old a bag of of golf balls. There, traditions, to yeah. play traditions. It's tough. One. Well, traditions has a lot of my golf balls, <laughs> and on one day of extreme fr- frustration, it has one of my clubs in the woods too. So <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be honest about that. But uh, uh, great start to the season. Back half's coming up. We're looking forward to it. Thanks so much for the time, guys. You bet. Sir, thank, thank you. you. Right. Connor, great job, buddy. Yeah. Thank you for the invitation. He's really bringing yes, sir, it on coach. this show. He is. You, yeah. he is. But, you know, maybe to wrap up the season, Coach can come back. Well, we'll, see. we'll see. We'll see if he'll uh, – if I can See how it is? I mean, yeah. I have to earn that right. Well, now, no, I'm saying – right. I, I've yeah. just Competition got – yes. need, <laughs> I need enough time to think of another way to get him to say yes – to uh, to coerce More him to come tr- back here. Well, now he knows it's not over the phone. It's not over the it's phone. A, he's got, it's in for He has to be yeah, here. Yeah, I was in, sitting in, in my in office. Person. He called me. I go, okay, we're ready to go. He says, yeah, come on down and meet us. I go, what? I'm here working on a game plan, and I it's thought a, we were going to be just doing a little phone chat. He had to uh, go throw on his best shirt and his best hat, yes. so, you know, get oh, all gentlemen. dressed up. We appreciate you, Coach. <laughs> Thanks, Connor. Thanks for coming. Well, right. well, you're welcome back anytime in any capacity, <laughs> phone or your, or your presence here, either way. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you.